Storm Tracker weather starts now with Jason Laird. Good morning, everybody. Hopefully your day's off to a great start. Quite a bit cooler today uh, as that cold front passed through the state yesterday, kicking off a couple of storms, leaving with it a little bit of cooler air staying planted over top of the state today. So 57 degrees is what you're waking up to in Great Falls, 61 in the capital. Looking at the low 60s in northeastern Montana as well. So there's that cold front now still kind of making its way throughout the eastern plains. So that could still kick off a couple of showers early this morning into northeastern Montana. But following that, a clear day today as high pressure does try to rebuild. But overall, that colder air mass is going to leave that cooler air planted across the state today, allowing for a pretty mild one. Temperatures right on track with average 85 on tap for Great Falls, 86 in the capital, and staying in the mid 80s throughout the eastern plains as well today. All all thanks to yesterday's cold front. We're looking at 54 for your overnight low this evening. Pretty darn mild in the capital at 55 as well. Nice to be able to open up the windows and actually get a little fresh, uh, cool air in versus that hot stuff we've had. Now, unfortunately, this cool down is kind of a one day only sale. We're going to see those temperatures rebound tomorrow as that ridge of high pressure continues to amplify. You'll notice on the temperature contour a lot of hot air to work with tomorrow and we'll still have a little bit of energy over the mountains. We could see you know, those isolated little showers and thunderstorms in the mountains and along the immediate vicinity of the Rocky Mountain front. Very sporadic, isolated, but just something to keep in the back of your mind if you have plans to hit the hills there. And uh, overall, a hot one on tap as we head through Wednesday and Thursday. So highs tomorrow on Wednesday, looking at 90 degrees again in Great Falls, 91 in the capital, a couple of mid 90s west of the divide, staying slightly cooler in eastern Montana as that cooler air mass continues to kind of exit the region. But by Thursday, we're going to bump those temperatures back up, especially in the eastern plains, flirting with the triple digits from Jordan down to Miles City and staying hot into northeastern Montana and along the High Line 97 in Haver there. All right, so as we head through the extended, there's that big ridge of high pressure that rebuilt, but we've got an even stronger cold front that's in, on track to move through. That's going to move through late Thursday. So in other words, on Thursday into Friday morning, that colder air is going to slide through. It's likely going to kick off a couple of showers and thunderstorms throughout the board, but really for the most part, it's a relatively dry cold front. Just some isolated storms expected. Following that cold front, quite a bit cooler air is on tap for Saturday, and that cooler air is pretty much going to stick with us. Maybe a couple scattered showers in the mix as we head through the weekend and the first part of this next week. So here's how that all comes together over the next seven days for you. 85 degrees today in Gray Falls, then we're back up to the 90s for two days. Cold front moves through late Thursday. That's going to keep us quite a bit cooler Friday, and right now it looks like we're going to stay in those uh, low to mid 80s through the first part of this next week. As for the capital, 86 degrees today as well. Then we're back up to the 90s for a couple of days, but much cooler as Friday rolls around. A couple scattered showers in the mix there, especially Thursday as that system pushes through the state, Shannon.